work in Brooklyn, an artist. Um, I went to uh, undergrad at Cooper Union, went to graduate school at Yale, came directly back to New York, and that's where I've been living and working. So this show primarily focuses on um, the idea of self-portraiture, and uh, sort of one of the things um, I like about self-portraiture, one of the interesting conceits about it is that self-portrait is uh, the only thing that you, the artist, can make. You are the only one that can make your self-portrait, and I, I can only make my self-portrait. If I paint a portrait of you, it's just a portrait. So I like that it's in this weird little box where uh, it has a certain direct relationship to the artist. So that's primarily what the work focuses around. There's a couple different types of paintings in the show. Um, one type is the mirror paintings, uh, mirror portraits, where I'm literally taking uh, another self-portrait from another artist and mirroring it on itself. And then the other type are the muse uh, museum wall paintings. And museum wall paintings are essentially uh, my perspective uh, looking at another artist's self-portrait uh, in a museum. It allows you to have the same one-on-one -on -one relationship with the painting that the painter did. So you can physically stand exactly where the painter stood and look at this object. And uh, it's a real sort of, you know, uh, intimate relationship with, with any painting. So I love doing that and I thought, well, if I sort of take that perspective and make a self-portrait of myself by showing you what I see when I'm looking at the painting, so I just kind of look to the right down the wall, and I look to the left down the wall, and I paint those views, splitting the image, uh, it sort of gives you, then it allows you to stand in my shoes, so it's sort of twice removed from me looking at the painting, now you get to look through my eyes at me looking at the painting. I think so, I think it's uh, sort of a universal human uh, desire, uh, you know, I think that's maybe the reason we have children and the reason we, uh, you know, write books or take photographs or have journals, that there's some, uh, something innate within us that we uh, want to continue on, uh, you know, past sort of when our natural timeline ends and leave something uh, that other people can enjoy or, you know, some way of being remembered. Uh, I previously worked with uh, Gary in a group show that uh, um, was curated by Sean Landers, who was nice enough to put me in the show, and through that I met Gary, and uh, he came to my studio, we talked, and I, you know, we, I was showing him the work, the paintings, and he said, you know, it'd be great if we could come up with uh, a way of making a more experiential show, uh, where it's not just sort of paintings on the wall, where we can sort of have other sort of things going on around the paintings that help tell the story.